So I want to briefly look at some UV strategies. We, we can't really paint uh, symmetrical. Well, we can use this, the, the paint, the paint buffer is symmetrical. You find it there, but it's, it's kind of just a hack. You see the line here and you place it where you want to want it to be symmetrical across and it's going to break it down. But you can't do like in other package, if you paint on this side over here, it, it's going to automatically flip over there. And that's something th there's a few scripts that can leverage this, but if you don't have them, I'm not really, not really sure where you can find them and stuff. Um, they were part of the extension pack, I think for a while, but I'm not sure where they went. Anyway, um, let's take a look at some strategies to uh, flip paint over. So you have to, you have to place your UVs in a way. So if you see here, uh, the, it's where I painted there. So you can also see that the, the paint here, it flips over to there. If I would take this patch, so I take the patch here and copy and paste, you can see that it flipped. So that's the way you can lay out your UVs like this. So one side, if I select this here for example select everything of that go to orthographic you can see like everything in one side here if i select all the patches on this side and go back here you see that i have identical uvs going like this so this makes it easier to flip paint from one side to the other so that's a way that I encourage symmetrical object to be laid out like that. Um, this UV layout was something I made a long time ago and um, it's not the best. I'm gonna revisit this. So I encourage to also to lay out UVs per material or per region. It's easier to make masks because if you look at this, it's kind of messy here. And uh, when you stack s stuff like this, uh, it, it, when you wanna, if there is like a mixed materials like this, it's easier to have maybe all of the, for example, like this, the tire, have all the the rubber in one region, not do it like this. So I'm gonna revisit that and. Um, yeah, so when you lay out the UVs, try and lay them like this so they are uh, flippable. Because you can also do like this if you would take this patch and this patch, uh, you can link them. Patch, link, selected patch. So if you now look here. Gonna automatically update on that side. So let's see. Okay, so now let's quickly link up the rest. So we'll take them at a time. Patch link. Okay, so now they're linked. So let's go back here now and just paint. And see what happens so so I did some strange thing there let's see on the other side so if you have a symmetrical object you can link patches uh, I usually just copy and paste when I need it so the next time we're gonna take a look at directionality in UVs and how we can leverage that and we're gonna take a look at the updated UV layout. Also, if you wanna support this channel, just uh, hit the subscribe button and a bell notification. And uh, please give me comments and uh, ideas for future topics and we will see too that they get resolved. Bye-bye.